Hey guys, it's Roger, and uh, it's been a few days, so figured I'd bring you a commentary. And this one, I've what is this? This is oh, domination on trailer park. Whatever. I'm if I'm fucking out of it. I have not slept very much the last few days. Um, but I'm not gonna talk about that. Uh, I got a few things I want to talk about. I mean, uh. People, everybody's been asking me about my trip to Atlantic City, and I will get to that. And, but first thing, because um, this has been coming up a lot uh, lately, uh, is a bunch of people... Actually, hang on one second. This is a good way to start a round right here. Ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much like the only time I'll ever talk about the gameplay. But anyway, uh, first thing, um, a bunch of people have been adding me on Xbox... And if you just add me, I'm going to deny you. I mean, hate to say it, but um, if you truly like want to be my friend, um, you're going to have to like talk to me. Like, If you send me a message on Xbox or preferably on YouTube about it and actually like talk to me, then I'll, you definitely have a much better chance of actually um, being added. So that's, that's up to you guys. Uh, the second thing, now I'm actually going to talk about my trip to Atlantic City. Um, <laughs> it was a blast. It was, uh, a lot of crazy shit happened, but first of all, it's a, it's a six and a half hour drive, and, um, I thought I got, would have to leave at, like, seven or eight a.m. Um, that's what I thought, but then, like, the day before, Walt told me that I needed to leave that night, like, as soon as I got off work, so I got off work at 10, uh, finally got in the car at, like, 11.30, uh, and then I drove, like, the six and a half hours to Atlantic City, oh, god, that was fucking tough, but, uh, I got there, I got there at 6 a.m., they're like, uh, you have a reservation, just tell them your name and here's your confirmation number, whatever. And so I go up to the receptionist, whatever, the desk lady, and uh, I was like, I have, a, I have a reservation. And she's like, oh, that reservation got canceled. And I was like, oh, any reason why? And she's like, oh, yeah, that, that reservation automatically got canceled at midnight. I was like, I barely left at midnight. <laughs> So she's like, "Oh, it's okay. Um, we'll just we'll just put uh, like, do you have a credit card?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And she's like, "Well, we'll just put it under uh, under your name temporarily, and then uh, you can just get in contact with whoever uh, whoever is in charge of this, and they'll they'll get this straightened straightened up." And I was like, "Okay." So I put it under my credit card, and they put like a two hundred dollar charge on my credit card. So that was kind of scary. I was like, "What the fuck?" Nah, uh, I get in my hotel room and I just crash. It's really hard to crash. I mean, I for some reason I couldn't sleep, even though I like hadn't slept at all. And um, so I wake up. I don't know, like around noon, because Walt called me and he told me that he was still on his way because he had to drive from North Carolina to there. And so I was like, oh, okay. And then I just kind of laid around in there, and um, I got up finally at, like 2:30 because the one uh the one sound guy actually called me he's like hey are you gonna come set up soon I was like oh yeah I was just waiting for you guys so I finally go down there and this fucking gigantic gigantic stage this place was fucking huge and um, I get a, I get there and I set up and it was like the easiest setup I've ever had to do which was awesome so we set up and we're all ready and I'm just gonna, like exploring the backstage and there's tons of the sweetest shit you've ever seen like there was like all these magician props and I was like what the hell and talk to uh, like the stage director and he said that uh like they have this real big magician uh, this real big magician from Las Vegas I, I couldn't remember his name um, it wasn't anyone that I had actually heard of before but um, he uh, he had a show coming up and actually uh, needed to practice and there was just like tons of like I can't even describe some of the stuff. Like, some of the big stuff was actually, like, a giant jet engine-looking thing. And, uh, so I was just playing around with that. So, anyway, the show was supposed to start at 
The doors opened at 3. And, uh, Walt still isn't here yet. And so we're all like, oh, shit. Like, where is he? And, um, all the sound guys kept calling all the old ladies, uh, cotton tops. Just because of their, uh, their hair. Um, lots of, lots of old ladies. That's, that's the shows that he plays. And so tons of old ladies are there, like, just waiting for him. And, like... It's like 4, 5, or no, it's like 3.30 comes around, we're like, okay, well, the show needs to start, and Walt's still not here. So we're waiting, we're waiting, and he says he's stuck in traffic, and that he'll be there in like 10 minutes, and, you know, we'll just be a few minutes late. And we wait some more, and then he accidentally went the wrong way down this one road, and so he was going to be even later. And the show was supposed to start at 3.30, and we needed to be out of there at 5, and... 4.30 rolls around, and he finally shows up. So I have to take his hour and 15 minute show and slice it down to 30 minutes, and we have to be out of there as fast as we can. So, like, he hurries up, throws his tux on, he goes out there, and he sings, and, um, you know, all the old ladies are clapping, and, uh, then, then he ends, he leaves, and, uh, then they make an announcement about, like, their buses or something, and they all start booing. <laughs> Because they paid for an hour and 15 minute show, and they got 30 minutes, and then they were told to get out. So that <laughs> that's how that was. But anyway, I forgot to mention something else that was even funnier. So while we were waiting for him to show up, uh, there was one point where we just hear all this cheering, and we're like, what the hell's going on? And one of the sound guys like radios back to us, and he's like, one of the cotton tops is stripping. So one of these old ladies was out there stripping for everybody else, and all the other old ladies were cheering. So... God damn, casino cities are just weird. Uh, so anyway, that was that was that. I went back to my hotel room, took like a a nap for a tiny little bit. Uh, and I decided I'd hit the casino and uh, got sixty bucks out of the ATM. Went to uh, went to the blackjack table, sat down. Uh, the uh, the dealer kept fucking with me. I was like, uh, like even at one point she accidentally uh took my money even though I still won. I was like, hey, I won. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I apologize for that, sir. I, I truly apologize. I was like, well, oh, thanks. <laughs> so anyway, I got up like 135 bucks, and then I lost it all back. <laughs> and so I still lost 60 bucks. So anyway, that's that sucks. But I will know for future, future reference how to play that game. Um, then, like, since it was such a long drive and everything, and I was going to be by myself, I decided to get myself a pack of cigarettes, and I did, and I remember at one point, I, uh, was sitting by myself in my hotel room in the bathtub, um, with all the lights off, I had my laptop playing music, uh, with just the equalizer, or not the equalizer, but the visualizer, so I've just got, like, this softly strobing, like, colorful lights, and I'm just sitting in the, uh, in the tub smoking. It was such a weird experience, but it was really cool. Uh, then I went out to the beach, and um, I finally realized that I was on the Jersey Shore, and I saw, like, stores that were selling shirts, like, I heart the Jersey Shore, and I heart fist pumping, and I heart tanning, and I was like, what the fuck? Oh, God. And I finally realized what was going on. And then uh, I, I realized something. When you're at a place like that by yourself, everything's weird I mean like I went to go into the ocean and I like took my shoes off and I like waded out into the ocean and I'm by myself so I have no one to like share it with so I just kind of like stood there like up to my my shins in ocean water I just stood there for like a minute and I was like whatever and I turned around and left and uh oh uh, what else what else happened there was tons of shit oh my god there's a million fucking bugs my car still has dead insects splattered over everything because I was just sit there and hit insects the whole time. One of them was fucking huge. It's like the size of my hand and there's just this disgusting splatter of bug pieces all over my car and I can't even, like I don't even want to touch it. It's so gross. But it game's over. Uh, I've got a few more things that I'll, I'll save for the next commentary. Um, if you guys have got questions, Hit me up, leave a comment, send me a message, whatever. Um, 
trying to think. Oh, I got some, some exciting stuff planned. I just have to actually get around to it. Anyway, here's a picture of something, depending on what I decide to put in here. Peace out, guys. I'll talk to you later.